The OnePlus 7 Pro has already been awarded best display, so we'll be covering all the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. So this May, it looks like we're getting three phones from OnePlus, and while many are complaining about the expected price increase on the OnePlus 7 Pro, it's already been awarded Best Display. DisplayMate tweeted to say their in-depth lab test of the OnePlus 7 Pro OLED have been completed and it scored at their highest a rating. Unfortunately, they won't be publishing their results until the 14th of May, but to get a score on par with the S10 range is an incredible accomplishment for OnePlus. It will be interesting to see the results when published and what the differences are between the S10 and the OnePlus 7 Pro. The OnePlus 7 Pro, of course, has a 90Hz display, so we don't know how much additional scoring would have been added for that. According to the leaks, the OnePlus 7 Pro will have a 6.7-inch Quad HD Plus display with a resolution of 3120 by 1440 If this is correct, then we've got a slightly higher resolution than the Galaxy S10 5G, along with a higher screen-to-body ratio thanks to the full-screen display. It's important to clarify that just because they both got an a rating though, it doesn't mean they are the same and until we get the full published report, we just don't know for sure. But one thing we do know is this means it does have a great display. We also don't know who's manufacturing the display, but a lot of Chinese manufacturers get their displays from BOE. Many people have been criticizing OnePlus in my comment section for the expected price increase, but people seem to be forgetting that this is a much higher spec phone. And for those that don't want to pay the extra, they'll still be releasing the standard OnePlus 7 that will be in line with what we've come to expect. The usual compromise is to bring a phone with the latest system on chip at a better price. On Weibo, a user asked if 5,000 yuan would be enough to purchase the OnePlus 7 Pro. The OnePlus CEO, Pete Lau, responded by saying it would just be enough. 5,000 yuan converted is about $744 or 575 pounds. Now, phones between regions are not directly comparable, but I'd expect this means we get the OnePlus 7 Pro in USA for about $750. There's also been rumors that we could see the base model of the OnePlus 7 Pro starting at just $650. Now, when it comes to specs, people are forgetting that we've got some great hardware for this price point if the price is to be correct. We've got a 6.7 inch Quad HD Plus AMOLED display, and this is a full screen curved display with no notch or punch hole. We get the latest Snapdragon 855 system on chip and probably the usual RAM and storage configurations. We get the pop-out selfie camera along with a triple camera setup on the rear, and reports are suggesting we'll get a huge 48 megapixel main sensor, an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with 3 times zoom and an aperture of f2.4, and finally a 16 megapixel ultra wide with an aperture of f2.2. We get a 4000 mAh battery that supports 30 watt fast charging and we also get UFS3 storage built into the device. Many complaints are coming from users about no waterproofing or wireless charging. OnePlus have never given official IP ratings to keep costs down, but they do make their phones as water resistant as they can. When it comes to wireless charging, OnePlus confirmed it wouldn't be in the OnePlus 7, but there was no mention of the Pro. While it seems unlikely, there is still a possibility. Hopefully, OnePlus have kept some surprises for us at launch, and everything hasn't leaked out just yet. As I always say to people though, there's no point being negative about a device until we have all the confirmations. If you're unsure, then wait until the official launch before making any decisions. In my opinion though, we have some great specs for the price point here. They are changing strategy and releasing an attempted flagship killer as usual, along with a new flagship of their own. And for consumers, having more choice can only be a good thing. With the launch set to be the 14th of May, it's not going to be long until we've got all the details. While OnePlus launched under T-Mobile in USA last year, there are also rumors that the exclusive deal may be coming to an end, so more networks will be able to provide the phone. As always though, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Are you interested in the OnePlus 7 Pro? And what do you think about the A-plus rating from DisplayMate? 
but thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, smash the thumbs up. If you didn't, make sure you hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.